I got a request to show what's inside the shortwave receiver and I'm going to try to explain it now. Um, this is the general view. This is the VFO, variable frequency oscillator, between uh, 6 and approximately 70 MHz. This is the high frequency stage. This is the antenna coil. Here you see the EF stage. I'll show it later uh, more precise. This is the power supply. This is the beat frequency oscillator, it's here. And this is the audio amplifier. Hope oh, it's a little bit clear. I'm going to show it now in detail. <coughs> Um, this is the first coil, the antenna coil, and you can see a tap, and the coil is tapped uh, and switched to ground a certain part of the turns to get to a higher frequency. This is the antenna capacitor. It's approximately 150 picofarad to tune in the antenna coil. This is the high frequency transistor, high frequency stage. And here you find, it's not very clear, the field effect transistor that's coupled to the um, antenna coil. This is the EF amplifier. This is the crystal filter. It's a 455 kilohertz filter. This is the detector diode. And uh, product detectors also here. This is the mixer and this is the mixer coil converting all frequencies to 455 kilohertz. This is the antenna input circuit and this is the beat frequency oscillator. Here you see the capacitor that's in with which the BFO is tuned around 455 kilohertz. And this is the audio uh, part. It is um, a normal audio amplifier from approximately 1 watt and the loudspeaker of course. This is a very important part. It's a VFO. This is the main tuning and this is the fine tuning here. With the fine tuning I tune into um, single sideband stations and small and stations with a small uh, frequency band, 3 kHz for instance, or 1. And this is in fact the tuning, uh, the VFO coil from silvered wire. And this is the VFO, also made with a field effect transistor. And this RD is again the input circuit. So I hope it's a little bit clear now how this. Uh, radio was made. Wish you luck.